Welcome everyone. In order to transfer data from your iPhone to the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the first step is you will need to be in the setup screen right here. If you have already set up your Google Pixel 7 Pro, you see the home screen like so. You will need to factory reset. So the first step is you're gonna open up the settings app. From here, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see system you're then going to find reset options and you're going to find erase all data, factory reset. Of course, you would do this on your Google Pixel 7 Pro. I have the regular Pixel 7 to show the process. Once you are on the setup screen right here, you're going to select get started. You're going to see connect to mobile network. So if you want to insert a SIM card, physical SIM or activate an eSIM, you have the option to do so here. After you have set up the Pixel 7 Pro, you can always insert eSIM at a later point. So we now have here, connect to Wi-Fi. So if you did not insert a SIM card, you must connect to Wi-Fi here. Otherwise, if you don't connect to Wi-Fi, it won't allow you to transfer data from the iPhone to the Google Pixel 7. So we now see here, getting the phone ready. And while this is going on, we're gonna need the old charging cable from our iPhone so that we can get the transfer started. So find the Google Pixel 7 Pro box and you want to open up the box itself. Unfortunately, we cannot use the charging cable uh, in order to transfer the data. So what we're gonna need is this, this is an adapter which converts USB-C to USB-A. And so we're gonna need this in a little bit. The next step is you're gonna find your charging cable for your iPhone here. You're gonna connect the USB-A end into the USB-A port of the adapter. And we're gonna do the final connection in a little bit. But if your iPhone charger looks like this, it's USB-C instead, then you will not need the adapter, so keep that in mind. So we see here, copy apps and data. You're gonna select next, 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 and now it says insert the cable. So if you have a USB-C to lightning cable, again, you don't need the adapter, you just insert the USB-C end, into the pixel, the lightning ends into the iPhone. If you do need the adapter, then you insert the adapter into Google Pixel 7 Pro. And then you insert the other ends, lightning port, into the iPhone. So from here, we have this trust this computer message. Just tap on trust and then enter in the passcode you use to unlock your iPhone. From here, we see devices are connected. So you're gonna tap on next. It will now ask you to sign in to your Google account. You don't have to do this now, but of course you will need a Google account uh, in order to use most of the features in the Google Pixel 7 Pro. You need to, to download apps, to use Google Pay, most stuff. I'm gonna tap on skip because I'm showing how to transfer the data. And now ask to trust this computer again. So we're gonna enter in the passcode again. And now it says getting ready to copy. So what it's doing right now is it is going to create a backup of the iPhone here. And it's going to use those backup files to transfer over to your Google Pixel. So you will need to wait for this to finish. This will take a while, okay? So you can see this progress bar. This is the progress bar uh, of the backup itself, okay? And I'm just going to fast forward once this is done. So we now see here, choose what to copy. So if I scroll all the way down, we have all of these things that can be copied. Do keep in mind, it cannot copy literally everything. You can see contacts, photos, messages, message attachments, 
and device settings. You're going to notice it doesn't say apps or apps data. You know, it's just one of those things. If you do have WhatsApp, it can also transfer the WhatsApp messages over and there'll be a certain step where it asks you to open up the camera app on your iPhone. You will need to scan a QR code and then WhatsApp will open and you'll be able to transfer the WhatsApp messages that way. I don't use WhatsApp, so I don't see that. So we're going to tap on copy. You're going to need to enter in your passcode again. And now in the background, the data is being transferred over. So we see here the Google services. So I'm going to just go through my iPhone, uh, the Google even. So you just set it up how you would like to. And now it says copying your data. So you will need to just wait on this screen. Depending on how many files you have, this may take a while. So I'm going to cut to once this is done. Okay, you can see here, copying's done. Uh, at this point, you don't need the cables connected anymore. You're then going to see, to keep receiving text messages from iPhone users, you will need to turn off iMessage on your old iPhone. So in order to do this, you're going to open up the settings app. You're going to find where it says messages. And the, there should be an option which says send and receive as. You just want to turn off that toggle or turn off the iMessage toggle. I'm not going to do that because it will show my personal Apple ID. So we're going to tap on done. Now it's going to get the phone ready. So from here, you can use whatever setup option you would like to, okay? So I'm just going to show you what shows up. We see, swipe to navigate your phone, and then swipe up to go home. So now we have successfully set up the Google Pixel 7 Pro without any issues. We'll transfer the data as well. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.